And Josh is saying, hello, looking for a way or idea to manage how much and when to start plants for growing. I guess for me, since I'm just starting out, is wrapping my head around trying to find the best system to maximize the growing season with initial plantings, but also manage successions for consistent stock for market longevity to go along with that is quality. I've, it's been a pretty large headache trying to determine and estimate the quantity of plants to sow in total for the year for purchasing seed. I started journaling everything and I've been doing, uh, to review for next year. Is there a more professional way to keep track of document business ventures to review for healthy business development? Man, that's a huge question, Josh. Like, I, I don't know if you have my book, but that might be a good place to start because, you know, to answer everything there is, is, is hours and hours of discussion. Um, uh, spreadsheets right out of the gate for sure. Um, you know, in my book, I give benchmarks for all the crops that I've grown, grown on how much seed you need for X amount of crop. You know, that might be a good place to start. Other books do that too. Um, but yeah, it's a big, it's a big question. You know, you know, that, the, the 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 thing there, I in my opinion, still to this day, the, the most important role of a farmer, a managerial farmer, is take to take what information is out in the marketplace and then translate that back into the field. So go and 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 predict what you think the market will want, and then figure out how much you need to grow, and then use that as your boilerplate for your crop plan to order your seeds and whatnot. So, I mean, just to give you a basic idea of somewhere to, to, with the thinking is figure out how many, you know, if it's, a, if it's a crop that's transplanted, it's really easy. How many plants are in the bed? And then how many seeds do you need to grow that crop? And then multiply that crop by the amount of times you're going to plant that in a year. And that's going to give you a rough idea on how much seed you're going to use. Always add 25 to 50% on top of that. That's what I do. Um, and, and, you know, kind of go from there. Um, and then when it comes to speculating in the market, you know, you got to have a place to start. And the only way to get started, if you haven't, is just to sell stuff. And then you learn as you go, you observe and interact. You know, one of the principles of permaculture is so important, especially in marketing. Um, and you go get, go out there, put some feelers out there, get some information, come back, reassess. That's, it's a constant. Um, I like to think about it uh, kind of the way that we raise our kids is we like to imagine there's sort of this, imaginary tether to our children and my, my wife and I have both practiced a thing called close parenting with our kids and it's the kids are always close to us metaphorically and and literally and there's a there's an imaginary tether the kid can go out and you can let the child get 10 20 feet away from you and then you're always close it's almost like in a game of squash if you play, if anybody plays squash and you stand at the tee you always got to circle back to the center to, to remain in position but the better you get at it the further you can go out before you come back. And it's, it's, it's much in the same with, 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 with learning about uh, the, what the market wants is that at first you're going to be so overwhelmed because you're going to start and you're just kind of broadcasting a big fishnet out there and anything that catches, you're going to go in and, and micromanage and, and readjust and go from there. And so when you start, that's going to be a lot of information, but it's a hierarchy of information because as you get better, the information actually gets less and less and less, the higher you go in the hierarchy to the point where once you have, uh, you know, I'm 10 years experience doing this. And once you have that kind of experience, you're only tweaking little things. And a lot of, a lot of things that you'll tweak, you'll almost do intuitively because you'll kind of see things coming and you'll predict things. And, um, you know, it, it's a big question what you're asking, but that, that, but that's what I would say as far as the thought process on how that, on how you start with that. Um, definitely just look at benchmarks. Big benchmarks are how much money do you want to make? How many people do you want to sell to? How big is your farm? Um, how many different types, types of crops do you want to grow? Those are the initial things you need to look at and then, and then plan from there. So hope that kind of gives you um, some inspiration to, to dig deeper because there's, there's a lot of hundreds of hours of content I've put out on YouTube and, and from the field that go into those things. You know, Start with some of the stuff on from the field mm -hmm. with crop planning and um, maybe go from there and uh, that'll get you started. And, and, and again, if you're new to this, I know it's overwhelming. I remember when I first started my first year, I spent, oh my 
goodness. I mean, I can't even remember how many hours I spent on my initial crop plan. And two months in, I scrapped the whole thing <laughs> because of information I was getting from the marketplace. So it's daunting, I know, but it's one of these things you just got to get your feet wet, get into it, start doing stuff, and it gets easier as you go. So I hope that uh, helps you there.